we do have some breaking news coming into the newsroom. We're going to take you straight to Darwin, where Matt Cunningham is with us. As we've been reporting today, there's been a lot of pressure on the Chief Minister there, Natasha Files. Matt, tell us, what do you know? What is her future? Well, my understanding, Ash, speaking to uh, several senior Labor sources, is that Natasha Files will resign this afternoon. I'm at the Darwin Airport. She's expected to arrive here in the next half an hour or so. She has been uh, in Sydney. She was there yesterday for a funeral. When this story broke about uh, her undisclosed shares in the mining company South 32, this company, of course, uh, runs the Gemco uh, manganese mine on Groot Island. Now, it's also been reported by the NT Independent that Natasha Tasha Files uh, ruled out an investigation into the adverse health effects uh, of that mine while she was the health minister. That's led to uh, enormous pressure being placed on the chief minister. There's been factional pressure uh, both from the right faction uh, and from within her own faction, the left faction, and it appears that Natasha Files in the end has had no place to go. She has apparently, when speaking uh, to her Labor colleagues, been a unable uh, to give a, a clear or reasonable explanation uh, as to why she had failed to disclose those shares uh, and as a consequence uh, Ash, uh, we do expect that she will resign this afternoon so she is expected here in the next half an hour or so and I'm told that she's expected to hold a news conference at about 1.30 Darwin time, 3 o'clock Sydney time this afternoon where she will uh, confirm that resignation With that breaking news, appreciate that thank you, we'll stay across that developing story for you throughout the afternoon